keep it. Um, well, always, always punished. It's fine. Oh, uh, never punished. Never punished. And we get a regalia, so I don't like. I don't need to play turn two. Yeah, do these like mech lists play rushes? I feel like they don't. I mean, um, blobs. No, blobs doesn't. Because yeah, they just play all the like. You've got a lot of deck. You have, yeah, you've got all, all the cycles, so yeah, kind of running out of room. Swords fall. I mean, I definitely replace one regalia. Um, or do I? Do I try to double I regalia? Don't one? I don't know. No, 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 no. And if you take the mana, then they're not clearing the charge. Like, what else can you get on four mana here that's like better? Nothing really. Like, maybe you could get like a Silver Guard Knight and the. Well, yeah, even then, I don't know. Okay. So I just keep and. I don't know. Do I go in the center or do I go up into the right so if, they can't. If you're regalering, you just go center because. They can't run away as easily if you're... Yeah, and I don't care if, if they do end up clearing it with the random thing. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think just keeping the both regalias seems reasonable. Yeah. Marty grab this, right? Yep. Rejuve is whatever. Maybe okay. If they like take all the mana, they might just play into a big light bender. Yeah. I feel like dispelling two max has to be pretty good. Dispelling two max? Or I was gonna say play another regalia. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Go you could the just... sword for free. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm thinking about martyrdom because of this. Yeah, mana forge is annoying. I don't yeah. know if I guess you can replace the Reduce. Yeah, you can replace for Jew, right? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I think I think Martyr. Yeah, there will be good. more light benders later, I believe. So. Oh, there's gonna be more light benders, and I I kill this sword, right? If I didn't yeah. kill oh, oh now okay. now it's light bender. <laughs> now it's light bender. And next next turn we are two. But this is alright because I, I'm gonna walk up into the Right. That sounds oh. reasonable. No, that's that movement's annoying. Because now, like, anyways, doesn't matter too much. You don't have to rush into them now. I mean, I can also like, I probably kill their wings, right? I yeah, mean, you could move down start. and right, and like let the sword trade into the pender. I mean, I think like moving next to the uh, nearby yeah, no, the mana forger makes more sense, right? I'm also not revealing murder them in that way. If or I just it, try I mean, to hold the light bender, yeah, try to grieve for the light bender. I could, I could definitely do that, right? Uh, I don't, I don't know if that's good. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I just like don't like, want to move into a position where they get an easy clear on the regalia. That's the main. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, but you can definitely. What about um, uh... Yeah, okay. The like, Mirage Master on sword could be a problem if I don't like bender. Yeah, I mean this light bender is a good light bender. <laughs> I don't think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So just like bender here then, and walk down. Uh, yeah, Maybe? yeah, yeah. And you can like move the rust core up to protect the regalia, maybe. Or maybe you don't even need to. I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. I like that. I like that. Like... Silver guys are pretty good. They're going to trade into the 3 2 and just get straight to back. OK. 
and they kill that as well. Oh, the pro soundtrack, I think, yeah. Yeah, but their sword can't come near our face now, so. Yeah. And they're going to trade and they're not going to punch our face, so more game is going to be full value. Still, Martyrdom Silver Guard seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. They also, like, they have two mana, but. Yeah, they, they, can't, have... they can't. They can't play a cannon here, so. Don't they have more than two mana? Oh, the they what did they play? They've only played a zero mana spell and a one mana spell. Oh, the bug you're, is the bug. Right. Yeah, so. you're right. You're right. Why? Nice dot bug. Should do this. Okay, I mean, it's still the same play, right? Yeah, the mana forger is annoying. Um, and I keep this for ammo. Yeah, sounds good to me. I keep everything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like, maybe you, could, you could like try and replace for like some direct damage or something. But I don't yeah, know. like I could replace Regalia, but I think it's fine. I think I'll keep it. I think it's pretty good. Sure. And then, do I walk down away from Sword, or is that stupid? I don't think that's stupid. Seems good. Nothing. Like they're provoked and they're most likely gonna want to use their face. Yeah. To clear the thing so that the helm can go face and clear charge. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start making some damage. Let's go. Four free damage, yes. Two drop and normal. All right. Yeah, now even if they like inner oasis to heal up their guys, they just get them out. Or yeah. maybe even light bended. Seems good, seems good. Yeah, light bender seems good. What is this? Can I? Oh, no, that might have you. You're running Tempest, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tempest, or... I was going to say worst case, I'd bender, but. Uh, Bender is funny and dispels your sand trap. <laughs> yeah, I like it's the one four, so who cares about the sand trap? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think I. Bender. No, doesn't. I think I find Tempest. Instead. Yeah, Bender's really, really good at getting the mech progress right. So. Yeah. Let's the mech progress or the mech itself. Okay, that definitely the mech progress. Safe from that, it's fine. I was gonna dispel it myself. They get a frenzy though, which is pretty good. Yeah. Are you fully surrounded? No. No. And I get a pretty big bender. Yes. Um... um... What did the the mech hit the sword? It hit a uh, one one, so it needs two more damage, does it? No, the mech. Oh. Yeah. So you need to hit that with uh, Arjun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's not. Uh... I mean, I go here no matter what, right? Yeah. And just play Bender plus Windblade. Yeah. Silverguard here. Yeah, I'm not sure what Silverguard's doing this game. You could get one face damage, but that doesn't really do much, does it? I, I, I I'm not a face deck at all. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe in this match. No, you can just like put it in the back. I can clear something. I up do have thing. Tiger ammo. Yeah, you do just don't want it to get hit by his one four, basically. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but. Are they still at like. Zero percent. I think they are right. They've got the wings on board for twenty, but yeah, the manifest is really annoying. Yeah. 
Indeed. 20% at least. Ah. Okay, I mean, if I can find Tempest. That's not great, so. but it could bail me out. Yeah, it's it's a little bit annoying that they're gonna get to make this space and run away, but hopefully uh can close it back with a provoke. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny watching these Vitruvian decks like just draw so many cards that are already like down to seventeen. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely try to fatigue them too if uh I mean No, no, I'm not gonna the mechs is gonna be way hard, but oh that I'm fine with that. I've got a oh no, like I don't uh, I mean, okay. it's got to be MO most. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's not great. Can't two drop, two drop MO to clear the four five. It's pretty bad. Uh, you can bim, blah, 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 blah. Um, just hit the sword instead of like get the three targets just to clear it off the board. Yeah. Because although if you leave the sword up, it just um, really easily they trade. Um, yeah. The silver guard. Whereas this way you like actually have a chance to um, just kill them, finish the game. Right. I think it's important to kill it, isn't it? I don't know. You could just play yeah, like two more two drops. No, no, no. I think I kill it. And then do this just to protect a bit against mm. the random stars. Yeah. Anyways, just in close your tempest is a little bit of damage. Yeah, I mean both players are getting low, so I should have more healing than them, so I have rejuves, I have sun drops, I have circle of lives. Hopefully they just play some stuff that dies to tempest and then we get to be happy. Yeah. Yeah, and we find some healing in the back. Yeah, you're running sun drops as well, so. Yeah, sun drops, circles, rejuves. Plenty, plenty, plenty. It's looking right, because I don't imagine they run too they, much. They just run the second wishes for healing, I think. They played only one siphon, right? So zero. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Sure, not good, not reliable. Certainly not. And they drew so many cards too, so yeah. they're likely to have another one. Maelstrom, mm. are we just dead? I don't think so, but maybe. That seems unlikely. I think they're just doing it to uh, get some space yeah. or something. Yeah, no, probably. It is a bit scary though, isn't it? It's scary, but uh Oh nice, they wrote that. Well uh, it doesn't matter because they can just do it now if they want. Yeah, I know. I don't don't think they <laughs> wrote that. They're eight HP. We just need to draw two down. Oh, so I, I mean they actually didn't rope it because they're just gonna kill them. Yeah, yeah. So they, they, you know. ah, they heal up. And they can even maelstrom again. God, Trivian. Yeah. I mean, if I find a healing, I can probably just fatigue them because they're at 20%. And yeah. Oof. Scary though. Straight okay, in. Not going face. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good too. Uh, 
They're up to 80% now. Once I clear a board. Uh, has to be double Tempest, right? I think it makes sense. Like Tempest Regalia can... Tempest. It's either Tempest Regalia Tempest or I play four cards. Yeah. I don't know. If you're Tempesting once, then the second one looks good. I don't know. Yeah, because of the 4 4 and the 3 3. Um, uh, I think it's Tempest Regalia Tempest. And then you probably hit. Do I? I take two in that case, and I take an artifact charge. Yeah. Well, I don't take an artifact charge. I would tempest, tempest, regalia, but well, yeah, you're taking two extra damage either way. Because yeah, I'm going down to yeah. Uh, maybe you don't hit. You have seven. healing. Seven. I think you should put pressure on this, or like you're losing two of that. As yeah, I, I, like I put on pressure by moving him closer. Do I actually punch? Yeah. Kind of scared of punching. Is like unless I. I don't think they no, can kill you, and gonna... you can just. Wow. Yeah. No, the zero isn't very safe, is it? Okay, that little one-one mana forger is annoying. I'm a coward. Yeah. Like I, I feel like I can. <laughs> I don't know if I can one for fatigue because they're at eighty percent. Yeah, no, I, I feel like you should hit, but I mean, it's a tough, yeah. tough goal. Yeah, I think I should have hit. Yeah, there, there's, yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, I definitely should have hit. How does Regalia work with Maelstrom? Like each um, each turn, I gain my. Yeah, my I imagine so. Back yeah, back three, right? surely. Which... So I should have absolutely should have absolutely hit. I think. It's okay, I understand the fear. Especially with the fact that, like, having Regalia means all our minions die and they get my prayer machine even faster. It's kind of a thing. Hopefully, I find third Tempest. Uh, Can't find that. Yeah, hopefully, I find third Tempest. Unfortunately, we played second wish, so I can't like, find that uh, also. Play so rusty? Yeah, for sure. Circle. Oh, this is tough. I mean, it's definitely circle, double heal. No, you need to keep putting on pressure. You need to be able to kill them. How in the world do I put on pressure with a uh, helm that'll trade into my windblade, right? No. Or you mean put on pressure by playing Seer? Mm, blah, blah, blah. No, I don't think Seer works. Although you could Seer and heal. You could circle the 4-4, four, four, kill the 3-1, and then play two 2-drops two in their face. And then okay. they're going to Mechazor next. They probably have Mechazor Time Maelstrom. That's really scary. I did, yeah, I don't know. I don't think. I think this is a rough matchup, to be honest. Uh, I don't know what to do. They had really good, like, inner races, too. Like, you could run away and not let the Mechazors get the Dying Wish, but I don't think that's how you win. So, up to you. No, I need to stay close because yeah, I don't have anything. I so. Like I only have Elix afterwards. Mm -hmm. Maybe they forget Cannon has range. <laughs> We're at fifteen, so yeah, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, they, oh, yeah, eleven. The corner, yeah. I mean, there's no way for us to kill him, and there's no way for me to kill him. Mac. 
I mean, you might be able to kill them before they uh, kill you, even if they're doing eight a turn. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I doubt it. At least they didn't do the frenzy. Honestly, if they just frenzy, that might be worse for you. Probably. But I, I don't know. I don't, I don't see how it would win. Unless they just go face. And like... Replace into Emma and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, now they got another turn. 8, 9, 10. They just did. And 12. And if they're one off. What if they attack with the mana folder first? Oh, yeah, we've got it. But, uh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Unfortunately. No! Man, they drew the inner races so well. Like, yeah. both games just had huge boards. It's tough to deal with when they uh, have those. Oh well, we tried. Yeah, unfortunately. 